My name is Ellen Harrison and I'm the Senior Quality Manager for Boeing Defence UK. I've worked with Boeing for uh, just over six years now. Our main job in quality is to go and check that the people on the different sites, it could be aircraft maintainers, it could be people dealing with um, buying parts or components for aircraft. Um, and it's our job to go with a check sheet to make sure that those people that are carrying out those roles are doing them in accordance with their own rules and written down procedures. In my job, I have a team of 35 people across different sites across the UK. Um, we deal with aircraft, we deal with information support systems, um, but mainly the role of a quality engineer is to go and check that everyone is doing what they're supposed to do. Me and my quality team have to do a lot of reading on a day-to-day -day basis. It could be emails, it could be requests for help, um, navigating through some rules or regulations. Um, and we also have to read a lot of documents and approve those for the organisation. What I absolutely love about my job is that no day is the same. I can be dealing with lots of different things on many different days, um, always there for support for the whole team. Um, and I get to work with a bunch of fantastic people from um, engineers to aircraft maintenance technicians to programme managers to supply chain. Um, and included in there is working with other senior managers and executives uh, through BDUK. I actually left the school with no qualifications. I did typewriting at school and who knew that that would be so useful. But as far as academic qualifications go, I actually left with nothing. Um, I was still able to join the Navy without any qualifications. Um, but then I did start on a lifelong journey of education. During my time in the Navy, I did, um, I gained a number of GCSEs, A-levels, um, and then I got into teaching myself. Um, and I did actually start to teach GCSE business studies. So I attained an A-level in business studies um, and then I really got a bug for teaching. So I went off and did a certificate in education with Bishop Grottetest University. And this is my uh, graduation photo here, which I'm very proud of. I did spend almost 25 years in the Navy and I had various jobs, um, moved into more management roles. Um, and then I, I got the opportunity to actually share some of my experience and training as well. Um, and I did have a stint where I was the ejection seat and uh, weapons instructor. So I left the Navy in 2015 to join my current role in Boeing Defence. Although I used the vocational route and I actually left school with no qualifications, I did require qualifications to get to certain positions and certain places throughout my career. So both within the Navy, when I commissioned, I was required to have qualifications. So I had to go back and do some of those. Um, but if you want to get into some of those activities earlier, so maybe engineering, then I would suggest that you, you do study those uh, STEM subjects. So maths, science, anything that you can um, anything that's going to give you that that background knowledge to be able to do some of engineering however that doesn't mean that you have to do that because people change in different stages of their life um, another fantastic area is getting into an aircraft apprenticeship um, because that allows you to study while earning and working at the same time